Hey YouTube. Well, I'm over here at the farm, thankfully, because I've been sick for the past three weeks. Flu or something. <coughs> still got a cough. Still have a hard time moving. But it's New Year's uh, 2024. For everybody making their New Year's resolutions, I wish y'all the best. I'm not making any because I got a feeling this year is going to be chaos. Uh, I just want to do a little short video. I got my phone. I'm sitting in my new truck. It's not a new truck, uh, but it's one I just recently purchased. It's a 94 crew cab, uh, one ton, uh, 6.5 diesel, nothing fancy. It's, it's just an old work truck, but I got pretty decent deal on it so i was like all right i actually got two of them in the deal uh one is a parts truck but it's it could probably be fixed um anyway the reason i think this year is going to be pure chaos for any of you that don't watch the news or nothing that's great good for you but i do a little bit and uh everything that could go wrong is looking like it's going to go wrong. Uh, I'm going to try to work and do and, you know, live life like, you know, everybody should, but guys, it's, it's getting crazy. Uh, I mean, you got governments at each other's neck. You got the elections this year, man, a lot. I dread that in a lot of ways. I mean, just the, the, crap slinging that goes on during election year is bad enough in this country but with all the other stuff going on you got north korea threatening south korea you got israel fighting in the middle east you got ukraine russia you name it man <coughs> and and everybody, you know, you got some people that says, oh, well, I don't want to get into that. I don't want to listen to that. I, you know, it's, it's a lot of negative. And it is. But guys, you got to listen to a little bit of it. You got to know what's going on. Uh, you can sit back and stick your head in the sand all you want. But when it happens, you're going to be scared to death. You're going to be shocked. You're going to be like, oh, my gosh, what happened? You can't be that way. You got to be prepped a little bit, prepared. Uh, at least in the mind to be like, okay, yeah, I, I kind of saw that coming, you know. Uh, so, you know, I started thinking, I was like, well, and I started praying about it. And I was like, well, what could I do with this YouTube channel? I don't have a lot of subscribers and I've sort of fallen off doing a lot of the stuff video. And it's, it's hard to video sawmill. And I mean, you see one log saw, you've seen them all. I mean, it's, unless there's something special going on on the mill, I mean, for the most part, it's just boards been thrown out. So I still do some sawing. Uh, I love sawing and stuff, but it's just hard to video it. So I'll get some on occasion of that. <coughs> but I thought, you know what? I'm a big talker. I can talk for a long time, and I'm pretty decent at talking. So I thought, you know, what can I do this year? Maybe change it up a little bit. So that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to just start talking about what's going on in everyday average Joe's life. Um, of trying to build a homestead. And with the economy and everything tanking and taking it up. Because, guys, I'm not rich or loaded. We're not making anything off this channel. I... I'm the only one who works, and the Lord's been really good to us. Uh, I don't, you know, we don't have a lot of extra, but, you know, we got what we need. So, basically what I'm saying is, uh, you guys are going to get a little bit of insight as to how we prepare and how we live our life, in a sense, prepared all the time, uh, no, we don't have bunkers and we don't have, you know, stuff like that. But there's there's ways of living everyday life 
that you can get out of this mindset of, you know, the, the way things has been because things has changed. Um, the workforce is changing. The times is common. Um, anything can happen at this point. So I'm going to just talk to you about the things I think about uh, from day to day, you know, just in general stuff. Um, what a little homesteader, farmer, whatever, the things I think about and I, I contemplate um, anywhere from men. Hannah was talking the other day about, you know, how many small farms do you actually see? Like, and I'm not talking about, you know, your four or 500 acre farms. I'm talking about how many small farms do you see anymore that are not living off of debt, that are literally making a living, making a family good living off of their farm <coughs> that doesn't have constant debt of, well, I got this new thing i got that new thing and and we're paying this payment we're paying that payment. i'm talking about just making a living guys uh off of their farm you know taking cows to the sale um raising whatever crop whatever and just making a living like and doing that full time as not I work another job and, uh, you know, this is just the extra money and the farm supplies its own needs. That's great and all. But I'm talking about like actually the family working the farm and making their needs being met from the farm. You just, I don't know of any. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, you know, you got plenty of them around here that do a little bit of farming, but they do stuff on the side. They do, they do other stuff. They either build houses or you know, they, the mechanic or, or they, they're doing something that is their actual money. Um, because I mean, you, you gotta have resources to live, uh, in this day and time you could, you know, be homeless. And we'll talk about that too on another video because I, I got, I got all kinds of opinions and I'm going to just start sharing some of my opinions. Um, whether you like them or not. And, and my opinions change on a regular basis. Uh, sometimes I'll give one opinion and then I'll, I'll educate myself or I'll get educated by someone. And I've, you know, some of my opinions are from a place of ignorance. Um, I'm not ashamed of that. Uh, when I learn, I, I hope that I can change and grow my opinions and my beliefs in accordance, uh, with the things that I've learned. Um, but anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So if you like hearing me ramble on, good. If not, oh, well, I'll have some videos of the house and different things like that, you know, from time to time. But this is what I'm going to try this year. I'm going to just do a little of here, a little of there. Um, Today, I'm going to just try to get motivated to do something on the house because it's been so long since I've done anything. I'm trying to get the porches worked on and the roofs on the porches before any kind of major disaster happens. Uh, you know, and that, that's, who knows? We could wake up tomorrow and the entire grid be down. What are you going to do? I mean, it's winter time. What are we going to do? Um, do you got things in place? Do you got at least an idea of what to do? Do you got some place to go to stay warm, to keep your family warm? <clears throat> uh, you, you can't just go up, you know, I mean, not around here in North Carolina. You can't just start cutting down trees and stuff because, I mean, you, you they're not dried out. Um, we got a lot of pines around here. I mean, it'll burn, but you're just asking for trouble. I mean, what would you do? What would any of us do if, if we woke up the next day and the entire grid down? I'm talking about cell phones not wanting to work, power out. How many people would still get up and try to go to work? Try to go to a job, knowing that there's, there's literally nothing, man. Nobody has anything. But people would be so ingrained into their routine 
that they would get up and they would try to get ready and go to work and, and they'd say, well, it, it'll come back on. It'll come back on. You know, literally, I, I made the comment, if you was driving down the interstate and everybody around you and you, everybody just starts slowing down, coming to a stop because their car is cut off. How many people would sit there? Just sit there and wait. How many? Waiting for some help. Waiting for the car to start back. Thinking that it's some some just fluke. It, it's going to, everybody's stuff's going to just start right back up here in just a few minutes. How many people would sit in traffic, sit in their car for hours and not leave? Guys, if, if something like that happens, just get out and start walking. Get your get get what little bit of stuff you need. Your car's done. If if that happens, your car's done. Okay. Uh, from what I know about EMP pulses and stuff, which is not a lot, but you know I've, I've researched a little. You, if that happens, your phone's not working. You know everything's crashing. The, the guy beside of you, nobody's vehicle is hardly working. You got one or two people's trucks on the road or cars that are these old things like this old diesel here it may still be running but if, if these new cars are shutting off and they're just done they're just shutting off you, you're done i mean just get out if your vehicle's on the ones that's off get out start walking get, get to a point uh i feel sorry for you if you travel hours away for home to to go to a job because you're liable to be way away from home when something like that happens and if you don't have an idea of okay i'm going to be hoofing it and you or uh, your ladies out there that wear heels or whatever and you're going to be hoofing it ever how many miles you, you you won't be hurt okay so it's good to have a few things in every vehicle you drive just just in case something happens uh, especially during the winter time extra coat blanket something like that you might be just sitting on the side of the road doing a snowstorm. You know, it, it's always good to have a little bit of preparation. Everybody, you know, just wants to assume that everything's going to roll smooth because it's rolled smooth for 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And, and maybe it'll roll smooth for another 50. But better to have and not need than need and not have. Um, I mean, that's just basic... There's a lot of things I'd I'd like to have in place, but you know we we got water. Um, I got solar systems here on the farm to to get water if we need to. We got we got hand pumps and stuff. We got plenty of water here. Um, the basement's done. The house is built structurally, so I could could manage enough over here to get us by the biggest thing i would like to have over here and i got i got a little outdoor wood stove but it's not it's not one i would want to put in the house even in an emergency but i would like to get me a, a good wood stove to put over here for the future or if something happens uh you know have the stuff that i can put it down in the basement and i could run my wood stove i got plenty of slabs and stuff that i can cut up during a during a pinch to get us by the basement's going to stay relatively good temperature wise you know i mean once i get to a point where i'm insulating it's going to be even greater but for right now i mean worst case scenario i'd be all right so that's the sort of stuff that i'm thinking in my head i'm thinking about you know the lord is is laid on me to to talk about some of these things and and just go with what I know, um, and you know above all, we we lay our treasures in heaven, and the Lord is our shepherd, and we rely on Him and we depend on Him. But you know He's given these these good times, and you know to to prosper and to grow, and I think that's. That goes even during for the bad times. Because, I mean, hard times is coming, guys. Um, may not be for everybody, but there's going to be a lot of people out there that's going to be hurting and struggling. Uh, and for those of you that are in debt, 
head over heels. It's going to get worse uh, for y'all. If you can all at all get yourself out of debt, get out of it. You, you, you'll be a lot happier, even during good times, bad times, whatever. Get away from debt. Stop owing the bank. Stop paying those payments. Look at all the money you could be saving if you wasn't paying payments. I mean, you could be putting back, and when that job tells you to take a flying leap, you can tell them to take a flying leap. Uh, and you can go anywhere and, and make the bills. Um, so debt is, is not your friend. I know sometimes we have to do what we have to do. We've all been there. But you don't have to be. You can get out of it. Uh, there's too many ways to get out of it. You can get out of it. Uh, are your kids going to be playing every sport that they want to possibly play? Maybe not, but let's be honest. Are they going to be pros one day? I mean, come on. Don't don't set them up to, to play every single sport and think, oh, yes, this is their ticket out. Show them how to manage money. Show them how to how to get out of debt, how to stay out of debt, how to not get yourself in those situations so that they don't need to worry about making millions to, to make a good living. They can make, you know, 40, 50, 60,000 a year and be making, you know, be, be able to support a family. I know. I do it. Uh, I don't make $100,000 a year. I don't even come close to that. I'm supporting my family. Sometimes it's a struggle. Sometimes it's not. I mean, debt is your number one killer of the family because it requires both people to be out there in the world working and they're not even at home, not, not able to support and be doing the things that they're doing. I mean, we could be a lot better off if we didn't have this farm trying to build a house. We got a house. But I'm trying to build something for the future. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to build and grow. So, you know, I've chose to do this route, but I mean, you don't have to, I, we could be sitting at, I, I could be sitting at home and, and fix up the, the house that we were living in on the little acre that we got and be just as content and happy and, and have all the time in the world to spend with my family. But again, I'm trying to build something. I'm trying to show my kids that it is possible to build, to build something with your own hands and to grow your life. <laughs> and to prosper so yeah just anyway i'm gonna be talking about different things like that prepping things that we do uh just life adventures anyway happy new year everybody stay safe everybody have fun